Hey friends, start of a new week, new year. Uh, feeling good about entering into a new year. Uh, 2023 was great on the channel, but I think we got our work cut out here in this race. Uh, first time I think we've taken the new Ferrari to Walton Park, or certainly first time on the international layout, which really is the full layout of Walton Park. Uh, turn five coming up here. I'm not liking the feel of the car. It gets really tight. It's, it's tight in turn three, but I seem to make it work. Uh, it curls, a f it feels a little bit wider around here. I don't know if it is any wider than the old Ferrari, but yeah. Uh, the one car was in our practice session. He was about 1.7 seconds quicker than us. Uh, but there were all, all sorts of I rated people were setting quicker times, lots of low rated guys setting quick times. So who knows what we're going to get here? Well, we are car 11. So we'll see what we can do. I don't know, this car, the, the very last corner, is it Lodge Corner, turn 16? The car seems to need a bit more braking than I would expect. But maybe we're just heading into the corner quicker. Right, so here you want to be very careful with this curve on the inside. If you get to the end of the curve, there's a bit of a bump. And on cold tyres, that just sent me you straight off. It does feel good in the slow stuff though, I have to say. But the track's not got as much rubber as it did in practice, so... I'm using firsts for the Britons here. But it's a bit awkward for Nickerbrook. Because uh, you hit go up to second a bit too quickly. In Druids, there, the car feels good. So maybe it's just a setup thing. Green, green, green. To be patient on the throttle out of the final corner because of the brow of the hill. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it rotated nicely, and then from the centre we didn't. <laughs> Things may still be coming up to temperature a bit. Although on our dash, they're up to temperature, they're, they can get up to the 80, so I think we still need a bit more tyre temperature. I'm just taking it easy. Is it shell corner, this one? Got our all-time best up. See what we can do with low fuel against that. Set all-time best in practice session just now. But I wasn't being very consistent at all. As you know, wasn't getting it up to my optimal for ages. P1 is down in the 33 1, super quick. Well, half a second quicker, I'm happy with that. We'll see if we can go a little bit better in this next lap. Is that first fits well. Uh, we're going to fall down quickly, I think. Bit of break around this corner, otherwise I'm not going to make it. Just feel like I'm going too slowly into shell. I uh, got the line all wrong there. It's a bit too low on the early part. Oh, 
So I'll tap the grass a little bit on entry. Oh, I'm not sure we're going to get any better this lap. At least we now found a bit of consistency though. Oh, curb sent us wide a bit there to delay, don't get on the power. We'll send it into the last corner. No, not any quicker, but we're sitting seventh at the moment. Yeah, that's good. Uh, welcome uh, to all uh, new viewers. Got a lot in the last few weeks. Uh, Ferrari does seem to be one of the most popular things on the channel. I don't know whether people tune in just for a few tips or just to see what it's like in the upcoming week, but I mean, lots of people are running it even at odd times of day. This is a slightly odd time of day. I know that we've got quite a few splits going. Uh, I don't know if I can have a look. Oh, yeah. What's it? Two, four, six, eight, nine splits. <laughs> I, I said last week the Spa was probably one of the most popular combinations. Uh, it's got to be closely followed by this, if not this, because it, it's a free track. Uh, so many people choose to run this. So we dropped down to ninth now. Show you that. Not too fussed about that, roughly our car number. I mean, at the moment, we are slightly, uh, well, let's say it, we are at the highest I rating uh, ever on road. After all these years, <laughs> something's beginning to click this month. I don't know what. And uh, yeah, I saw Scott Tuffy put a video out, didn't he, about being at highest rating, I rating at the end of the End of the 23. Uh, well, we've, you know, we've uh, we've done that, done the same. And I think the goal, the probably the only goal for this year, is see if we can get a higher, a higher IR by the end of 2024. Uh, I would like to get to 2.4 at the end of this week, but I rating isn't much at all, really. It's uh, the same 2.4. Hey, I think I think that's what mine said. Two point eight. Uh, yeah, I rating isn't anything. I don't lose any sleep about I rating. Uh, it only really matters if you're going for championships, doesn't it? I think. Anyway, I just realised most a lot of people on the grid. So let's uh, grid up. We're going to be on the inside for the start, so that's good. Line up on the right side. The estimated SOF is 2,834. Pit road is closed right now. Let's take opportunities. Take opportunities. I've, I'll be just happy to survive, as always. As always, take fuel off, tear off, off. Let's remove the tyres as well. Uh, cats are now deciding to run about. So it's going to be a 10 lap race here probably feel quite long a lot can happen in 10 laps around Alton Park uh, I didn't look at all everyone's pings but we'll, we'll assume here everyone's like okay, what what we got oh we're on a 67 so we're on the French server that's good doesn't seem to be a quality issue so we're on 99 are we all in the grid? We're waiting for the six to grid up behind us. Is he here? He might be starting on the pits. The time's up. He's not going to make it. If only it was someone in front of us. <laughs> Alright. Let's get going. So we're going to have to be very mindful about cold tyres at the start of this lap. Temperatures are all blue on the dash. Good 
Get ready, going green. It's going to be, it's always a difficult start to see because of the hill. Green flag, green flag. I think I heard it before I saw it. Oh, we gutsy driving in there. Oh, well, that's two gone. Don't mind giving up one position if we gain two. Not really been in much of a tow. So that may affect our corners. Oh, it's happened behind. Not immediate behind. Got a blinking car up here. Just take it easy on cold ties. Yeah, Andrew, your blinking is very off -putting. Oh, did he hit the inside curb? The tyre barrier there, I think he did. Is that giving him damage? Oh, we got on the dirt, that. Delayed us getting on the power. Maybe he's got away with the damage. Right, we survived first that, first achievement. Hopefully Andrew will drive off now, because I don't think I want to get close to him. Oh. Well saved. Well, he's off the track, but he could have completely looped it. Now, I can see where the incident was, all that dirt on the track. So yeah, we're in a bit of a bubble now, that's good. I like my bubbles. Hopefully we can drive away from Nacho behind us. Not guaranteed though. James is not happy, we've made a mistake. Right, need a better lap. Put session best step up. Give us something better to aim for. That's better. Out of cascades. Yeah, it turns better now. Sitting up there. Two cars off. Too busy looking at it. Think about the corner, Russell. They're back on before. Oh, one of them isn't. And maybe jump. Seeing that car just stop there. Because those guys at the front there are really just fine for wins. Overshot it there. 
Another one going slowly. Maybe he will get going. Be interested to see if we catch him. We do a third into this race. We're not losing Nacho, not with the mistakes I've been making. Well, so I think he's gained pace because we're not going slower. Difficult to pass here. The three looks like he's got back going again. Maybe he just had to slow down to clear from the uh, going off at Britain's. Okay, we might be better than that in the last corner. I don't know. Like they might be too wide up there. Felt like that was slow. With Andrew's bad internet issues, could be another incident ahead of us. Way in the race. Oh, looks like someone's been off there. Time marks into the gravel. Got a bit slidey there. Try to drive in a bit harder. Oh no. That's why I'm losing the time. Entry into Britain's. Nacho got a bit of a wiggle on out that corner. He's the closest he's been.
Gained a bit there on him. Ah, uh, push wide. Nico, the 14, is getting very close as well. Hopefully he'll start to attack Nacho. Ah, that's a bad mistake. Nacho's made a mistake. Probably because he was following my line. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, they are side by side now. So they stay side by side. No, Nico's pass. Ah, oh, there's a lot of bub up there. Twelve has pulled away from the three. I'm surprised, but maybe the three has got damage. to get better. Tires are starting to get a bit warm. Their front is. Hope we've got enough of a gap. So this should be the penultimate lap. Can we hold on to this position? Oh, it's just starting to feel like they've had it. He's only gained two tenths so far, Nico. Also, he hasn't dropped Nacho either, so. Right, let's not do anything stupid, man. Nine is in the pits. He might have been there for a while. Although it says that nine he pitted, so no. He's definitely crashed out of that lap. They can't throw the car in there as much as it before. Oh, one X. We were on for a zero X race. I mean, they have slightly improved that off track there but that's still a bit harsh
God, he's gained a load on this lap. I'm almost losing it in there. There's not another lap to go. We do exactly what's needed to be done. I don't mind that really rubbish last lap. We got the result. Whoa, that's a brilliant result for us. Uh, so, you know, top split, sixth place. <laughs> oh, oh, it doesn't get much better than that. Thank you. Thank you, Australian man. Let's, you know, let's keep this positivity up for the new year. Well, one car had a good race. Uh, Nico's happy. I'm doing the old good race so uh, back in the day we always used to say gr and i racing and then because of other games we've incorporated gg anyway uh it was actually the 12 it looked like he came up with the fastest lap of that <laughs> well he certainly had a green one he certainly hit his fastest lap at the end so managing tire as well sixth place come on and this sort of strength of field. Let's uh, have a look at the start. Certainly, start aided us to uh, our finish. Not that I was uh, particularly alert. It's a bit too far back here. Yeah, too far back. There. Yeah, it's just a delay. Can't see it. Can't see them going where we are. I don't know. If Marco here had a better. Let's put in his cockpit. Does he have a better view of the go? Yeah, so you can see the second place car go. And then we uh, put it on chase. Oh, the guy, the 13, was well past us, wasn't he? Well, what happened here then? I mean, the eight was there. He could have maybe taken more room on the entry. I uh, just... Yeah. He th I think the eight, he doesn't need to... He needs to be over a bit in this, this area. Does it give him a much quicker run through the corner. So it gets on that curve, pushes wide. And they just sort of come, join together in a, the eye racing way and... It turns him. I'm not sure in real life that would happen. You think seven maybe could leave a little bit more room, but you see here he's not. He's no longer turning in. He's pointing out at the curb. Uh, just I mean, there's nothing really much more they they both could have done. Just one of those incidents, three. Really. Then there was another. That was a very chrome Ferrari, wasn't it? 17 goes off there. Oh, that was a send. That was the 18. He was ranked last. He was running. He finishes 10th in the end. I wonder if he could have did that to everyone. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, it's nothing 17 done wrong there. The only thing maybe is if he kept... He didn't drift back into the track. Here, if he kept up to the white line, the 18 may have actually missed him. Because the 18 was trying to miss him. But then we had the 12, he was blinking all over the place, wasn't he? Nine, are you gonna blink? Oh no, you're gonna take take the tire barrier, but you're right at the back anyway. Well, blinking again. 15. This tyre barrier. 
prediction code here at the time. So what happened with these two? The five on the other red Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. He breaks, yeah. He breaks earlier than I was. And uh, because he's right behind him, hits him. So that's the three. Uh, and maybe that's why the five quit. I mean, the front is complete, is destroyed. But he probably decided that was his bad. Bit of self uh, penalty there, maybe. 13 hits, prediction code hit. And then the other side of the tyre barrier. Nine, going to do it again, nine. That's too close. Uh, 13, well, we didn't see. Yeah, that car's ruined. What we didn't see was the guy in front of us spinning out. Oh, Nacho behind us, prediction code hit. I, thought, well, I mean, it looked like he actually hit it, didn't it? Yeah, and it gave it back. But his prediction code. Oh, he, he ghosted through there. 17 ghosted through the tyre barrier. Some more prediction code. 10. Now that that's fa everyone's favourite tyre barrier. Can we get some love on this one? Yep. <laughs> a 9. It's a 9 again. Oh, Will's out on the dirt. Spins it. Nine. Oh, another prediction code here at the tyre barrier. The 12. Blinking. The 6. These are all going to be just tyre barriers. Yeah, that's another one. You're going to do it again, 9. Oh, that's definitely going to hit that one. Yeah, that damage off from that one. 10. Oh, it hits the left one this time. I think they've all been hit now. 18, oh, and the uh, 6 turns into the 18. Probably expecting him to have been gone by that point, but he broke a bit harder. And that's it. Uh, I want to go back to our lap 2. Just, well, lap 2 was our fastest lap. Just to see the uh, 13 spin out. We, we saw him late in the race, he spun out here. Uh, and destroyed the car. This time he saved it. Ah, oh, it just wheels on the grass. On braking. So he wasn't able to brake at full. Full braking. It wasn't a traction. And he loses a number of positions because of that. Well, there you go. That was it. Uh, loving that race as the first one of the week. Uh, what do we want? Let's go scenic. Uh, oh, there's nothing there. Yeah, uh, I hope if you if you race that this week, let me know. Let me know how your race goes. I'm sure some of you will be racing it multiple times. But here's the results. As we we're saying, it was top split of nine. Uh, Australian man name already gave you the strength of field at the beginning of the race, but it is a double green. We gained 0 0.03 safety rating. It's probably one of my highest ever safety ratings as well. And for the first time, we're up into 2.4k. It's 55k on the I rating. It's static with that. We were car 11, started 9th, finished 6th. 119 championship points. First car in our division. Uh, so we count that as a win, I think. Once you're in top split, you're just rating the guys in your division. <laughs> I think... Uh, Unless you're in like Division 1, then you're racing everyone. Uh, who gained the most I rating? The 12 gained 78. And it was the 5 lost 98. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the likes and comments we've been getting. And I'll see you again in the next one. Should be an MX5 race coming up soon.